Hey, what's up guys? This is Mr. Jensen with EdTech Integration. In today's video, we talk about Canvas Groups. Canvas Groups is one of the most powerful tools that you can use in Canvas. Not only does it allow you to parse kids into different groups, but it allows you to take basic things like assignments, projects, and discussion boards, and to elevate them to the next level. If you're teaching online, Creating groups within Canvas allows you to engage kids in a whole nother way and let them collaborate with each other. So let's check it out. So continuing our setup of our Canvas course, in the last video, and I'll link that video up here above, we talked about how to create modules in Canvas. We also talked about how to create pages, assignments, discussion boards, and also quizzes. Now, the theme of the last video was how do we create less friction for students to be able to access these things. So as you can see here, we've broken it down into a really simple system. We have module one and then our assignments or the things that we're going to do are, are coded here. 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, and so on and so forth. In this video, we're going to talk about how to create groups within Canvas. Now, if you were doing an assignment or a group project within Canvas and you wanted to group students into um, different groupings so that they can turn things in as a group, they can collaborate as a group, and they can also work as a group, um, there's a feature for that here in Canvas. So let's do that. On the very left-hand side, we have all of these different features here. If we scroll down to the one that says People, will be asked to set up groups. Now this is where you can set up groups. You can parse kids into different sections. So if I click on this, I can see my pre-existing groups. Now in this course, I don't have any pre-existing groups. So I'm gonna come here and say, add group set. And let's just call this EdTech integration. Now there's a couple different options here at this point. We can allow students to sign up for their own group. Now, if this is the case, the way this would look is you would publish the group and then students would also go to people on the left hand side here. They'd click on people and then they click on group one and then they would add themselves to group one. Another student might add themselves to group two and so on and so forth. Okay, So you can set limitations on the self setup or sign up so that only four students can sign up per group or only there's only 10 groups total and it'll parse the students into those 10 groups okay so this is a really powerful thing if you want students to have choice now if you don't want students to have choice we can do it a different way so we can have one or two options here so the first option here is split students into now let's say, for example, I had um, generally I have about 30 students in each class and I want to have three students in each group roughly, or I want to have 10 groups. Okay. So I could say split students into 10 groups. And then down here, if you want them to be in the same section or the same class period, you would click require group members to be in the same section. Now, if this doesn't matter to you, if you want students to be able to collaborate, um, cross classes so your first period students can collaborate with fifth period students and so on and so forth you can leave that unchecked this is the first option here's the second option you can split groups into let's say you want um you want groups of four you can split students into groups of four and, and again this same option still applies you can have um, students only be grouped as long as they are in the same section or the same class period together, or you can leave it outside of that. Okay. You can also click this box down here where it says, I'll create these groups later. So if you just wanted to create the group setting real quick so that students could see that there's different groups and you're going to do it later, you can do it that way. Okay. So let's just create one real quick. So I want to create, um, I'm going to split, split students into 10 groups and I'm going to require that they're going to be in the same um, section together. This last one here says leadership. So now you can assign leaders of the group. Now you don't have to do this, but if you're interested to have a leader in the group, and this could be for um, turning things in, this could be for um, just different, uh, different jobs within your classroom, you can click this. Automatically assign a student group leader if they are the first student to join the group, or you can set a random one as well. Okay. So I'm gonna choose the first person that joins the group is the group leader, and I'm gonna push save. 
Now, this will take a little while. If you have several hundred students or 100 students, this will take a little bit. Um, in this case, this class is just a practice um, sandbox class, so this won't take very much time at all. Now, in a real course, what you would see is you would see um, four students in here, and you would be able to open this up and see what students are in which. Okay. In this course, because I don't have any students in here, you won't be able to see that. Okay. So let's look at the application of this. So we've created a group. Now, in this case, if I click home, I'm going to go back to my modules. Let's say, for example, this is a group assignment. Okay, so this isn't a project. I just wanted students to work um, collaboratively um, on one assignment during one class or over two class periods or something like that. So if we went to our 1.1 assignment here, that's already been created. And again, if you don't know how to do this, click on the, the video um, that I created in this last one. So we haven't created any content here. I'm going to click edit. Now, in this box here, this is where you could link your Google Doc. This is where you could link your instructions. Um, this is where you can link your learning objectives. Um, this is where you can link um, videos and resources, so on and so forth. Okay. So this is this is your your description page. This is where the assignment is. This is where a lot of different things is. And I've done a video on this as well, so you can check that one out as well. So I'm not going to go through all these different settings. I'm going to go specifically down to the groups, but this is where you could add points. This is where you can change um, the different grouping. So assignment group could be tests or quizzes, assignments, projects. Okay. Um, so. Down at this one here where it says group assignment, you're going to click on this is a group assignment. Now, it's going to give you a couple different options here. What we could do here is we could go down to group set and we could we could select the ed tech integration. Now, because these groups are already set up, we are going to select that and it will take the pre-existing groups that are already set up and it'll apply it to this assignment. <clears throat> this option here allows you to assign grades to each student individually. So if we leave this box unchecked, the way it works is when students turn in a group project, so if I'm one of four students, the way it works is it'll when I go to grade it as a teacher, it will give those four students the exact same grade. Okay, so assuming that um, all the students have worked on it and you want all students to receive the same